Hi guys, and welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we have a video um, where I'm testing this wool. It's called Merino Stretch from Wooly Hugs. And it's really soft, um, kind of stretchy, um, like it says here. And um, I think it's an interesting wool. So you can see it here, how much I can stretch it. Um, it's quite, yeah, it's quite stretchy. And you can see um, how twisted it is here. These little threads, there's three of them. And all these little three threads actually consist of a lot of smaller, a lot smaller um, threads. And I'm seeing here, there's like a little white or lighter colored um, central thread. It's very thin. And around that, you can see that there's the wool. Oh, here we can see it. Now it's in focus. Um, and so you can see um, I think I think they're in all of these little threads, and so that's maybe like the main um, thread inside, and um, yeah, maybe that's why why it's so stretchy. And um, so it's the merino stretch wool. It's um, forty seven percent wool, forty seven percent polyacrylic, and six percent polyester elite. And um, it's fifty grams and a hundred and ten meters. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right with the polyester elite. I'm not actually sure. And I assume that the uh, polyester elite is maybe the little um, light thread that we saw in the middle. Of them. And it's meant for size 3.5 to 4.5 crocheting hooks. Okay. And here is the color code. It's 147. It's like this nice dark purple, um, purple color that I think looks actually really cute for winter. Um, so I'm going to take off the label and I'm going to pull out here the middle of the yarn. And so here, this is my crocheting hook. It's the 4.5. It's um, one of my smaller crocheting hooks for sure. And so we're going to start here with some chain stitches. It's um, interesting to feel it here because like you can't really get the, the tension so easily because it's so stretchy. You can see here when I pull my finger away, um, yeah, it stretches a lot actually. And yeah, you can see the tension. It takes a little longer <laughs> to get the tension. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm curious to see how, um, how this is going to go, but it's actually really easy to crochet with. It's very regular, very even. Uh, with a size 4.5 crocheting hook seems to be, yeah, it seems to be a good size. Um, I don't think I would use a smaller hook, um, that's my personal opinion obviously, but the size 4.5 I think is actually works really well for this. Okay, so I'm going to do two extras here and we'll do half double crochets backwards. So we skip the first two that we took for height and we go backwards into the stitches and do half double crochets. Mm -hmm. Three we have here already. Um, it's really nice. It's a it's a pretty a pretty color. It's a pretty yarn, um, and it's actually very easy to crochet with. Nice and tight, right? Right, very close to each other, uh, which I think I like. Um, I feel like I'm kind of crocheting this all tighter together. Um, because of the tension that I have to, um, yeah, I have to put a lot of tension on this. Um, and so I feel like it's very compact, but if you kind of, you can see if I stretch it out, um, it's actually a lot better. And, um, this is obviously great for something like headbands or socks that has to have to be kind of tight, um, around your head or around your, um, feet and not too loose. So I feel like this is a great wool for something like that. So I'm going to finish off this row here and then I'll give you a little update. Okay. So here we are at the end of the row and, um, you can see, yeah, the half double crochet is here and you can see how nicely, um, yeah, it stretches and then, um, pulls together again. I think this would be really great for headbands um, or anything else that you would want a stretch um, in here. Um, and yeah, maybe even socks. Uh, maybe the wool is already a little thick for socks, but maybe like nice winter socks. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and it is, uh, it has a part wool. And so I think it's nice and cozy, it's nice and warm, it's great for winter. Um, yeah, so I just took here three chain stitches for height and I'm gonna do um, double crochets back. And so um, I have my finger here without a lot of tension around the wool. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not pulling it tight. I'm kind of letting it flow over my finger here just to see what the difference is. Okay. And so here you can see it's very even. It's really nice, uh, really nice to crochet like this. Um, I think. Okay, so here we are. The first row is done um, fully in half double crochets. You can see how nicely, um, yeah, it kind of stretches and then comes back together. And I think, yeah, I think it would be really great for headbands. Um, and then maybe for a regular pair of socks, it's maybe a little too thick. Um, so a 4.5 will maybe, maybe for like um, house shoes or something like that. Um, but maybe even for um, nice thick winter socks and yeah, headbands. I think this is perfect for headbands, honestly. Um, yeah. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do double crochets here. So I add three chain stitches here for height and then we go backwards here and do, um, yeah, double crochets. And you can see here that this actually is working really well too. Um, the double crochets are, are looking good. They're nice and even, they're nice and symmetrical. All of them look the same. Very nice and compact. A uh, really nice size for this, for sure. And you can see here, um, yeah, how stretchy it is and how it uh, comes back together after you let, let it go. Do a few more here and maybe finish off this um, this row here as well. And actually, <laughs> I just noticed that I did have double crochets here. Uh, I actually meant to do double crochets all the way back, but uh, I seem to have forgotten. So um, I kind of just pulled them out again and then we'll continue from here in double crochets. That's what happens when you're not thinking. <laughs> Okay, so I did another row of double crochets um, and I think it really works really, really well. You can see how stretchy it is um, and what happens with the wool when you pull it apart and then let go. Yeah, like I said a couple times here in this video, um, I think this is awesome for headbands. Um, the texture is really nice, the, um, the touch, the feel of it is really cozy um, and just very soft. I think it's awesome for winter. 
And yeah, the stretch um, is super interesting. It's something very different. Um, and you can see here with my finger that how stretchy it actually is and without actually any any force or any um, yeah strength. And so obviously I hope that you like this test um, and maybe you consider buying this wool. And thank you guys for watching DIY Ideas. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free. You'll always be the first one to be informed about a new video. Please share this video with your friends and see you next time.